In this video, I will show you how to create a certificate. So you have two ways you can create a certificate. You can use the default method, which uses the classic editor, or if you'd prefer, you can install the LearnDash Certificate Builder add-on and use that. So in, to install the add-on, we'll go to add-ons, search for the Certificate Builder, install it and activate it. So I already have it installed and activated, so I am actually good to go. Next, we'll go back to certificates and click add new. You'll land on the classic editor. So if you wanted to create your certificate using the classic editor, you would do so from here. However, in this example, I'm going to show you how to create a certificate through the certificate builder. So I will click use certificate builder. And the first thing I'm going to want to do is add a title. This is just for internal use only. Um, the user won't see this title. And then next, I'm going to add a background image. So I'm going to go to the media library, select my image. And now I can start adding my content. So keep in mind that uh, what you see is not what you get when you're in the builder. So what I mean is that you don't want to focus too much on the background image and trying to align the text perfectly, because when you preview, the uh, text may look slightly different. It may, may be a little higher, may not be as big. So just the first thing I recommend doing is just going in and quickly eyeballing it. Don't focus too much on spacing or the font size. And then once you've added all the content, go ahead and publish and preview it. And then you'll see really what it will look like from the user's side. Then you can come back to this builder and start playing around with the spacing and size. So let's go ahead and click the arrow to add our first block. And I'm going to add a spacer because I don't want content up here. I want my first content to start about right here. So now let's add a second block and I'm going to search for learn dash. And you'll see that there are four learn dash blocks that appear. These are the ones that you can use with a certificate. You have course info, user meta, quiz info, and group info. So the first one I want to use is the user meta. And I'm going to go ahead and center this and bold it. But I don't want the user's login information. That's not very attractive. So I'm going to come over to field. And I'm going to select user first and last name. And that looks much better. And I'm going to customize the size as well from 20 pixels. I'm going to go ahead and jump it up to 60. And again, I'm not going to be too concerned about the spacing right now. I see that it's really close to my text right here, but I'm going to leave it because it may look slightly different on the front end. And the next thing I want to do is add another block, another spacer. And again, I'm going to come down a little lower than what I, what I want just because it will appear slightly different on the front end. So the next block I want to add, I want the course title to be next. So I'm going to come over to learn dash course info. And you'll see it says course ID is required when not used within a course. So what that means is if I were to use this block for a certificate that's associated to a quiz, I would need to go ahead and enter in the course ID that I want to appear. So whatever title for that course, go find that course ID, enter it in, and then that title will appear. So for this, I'm using this for um, my courses. I'm going to associate this certificate to all of my courses. So I can leave this blank. I'm going to go ahead and center it and bold it. And I'm also going to increase the pixel size for this. And again, it looks like it's getting, I'm getting pretty close to the edge of my uh, certificate image, but don't pay attention to that right now. Let's just go ahead and continue adding a little space and the text that we want. So I added another space. I'm going to add a paragraph and I'm just going to say completed on. And let's center that. Let's add one more block. And this again, I want to go to the course info because I want the, um, the completion date now. So I have the course ID and 
that's, excuse me, I have the course title that's going to appear up here, and now I want the um, completion date. So I'm going to come over here and say show and search for course completion date. Now, this is all the content I want on my certificate, so I'm good right, uh, right now. However, if I were to go up to preview and preview this, no data would actually appear for the um, title or for the completion date because there, it can't, there's no data being pulled, basically. So to preview this and actually see what it will look like for the user, what I recommend doing is creating a test course, adding this certificate to that course, and as a user, go in and complete that course. Then you will see the course title and the course completion date appear. So let's go ahead and publish this, and I'll show you what it'll look like in preview. Okay, so I went in, I created a test account, or excuse me, a test course. I um, added this certificate to that course. I enrolled this test user into that course and I marked it complete for them. So now I get a full sense of what the certificate would look like for this user. It, I think the spacing looks pretty good. Um, you know, I may decide to go in and make um, some of the font bigger or smaller or change the um, styling, but for that, I do think it looks pretty good. It may, you may try the first time around and the spacing may not look perfect. And that's when you would go back into the editor and make the spacing or size different. Um, it's a little bland for me. I may add um, a logo in the corners or maybe change the color just to give it a little more pizzazz, but this is how you would create your certificate. Um, so I hope you did find this video helpful and good luck.